collection framework is one of the most important pillars that support the fundamental concepts of the Java programming language. If you are an aspiring Java developer, it is very important for you to have a strong knowledge of these core concepts before you appear for an interview. Through the medium of this article, I will share the top 50 Java Collections interview questions and answers that will definitely help you in clearing your interview with flying colors. Why Collection doesn't extend the clonable and serializable interfaces. The Collection interface in Java specifies a group of objects called elements. The maintainability and ordering of elements is completely dependent on the concrete implementations provided by each of the collection. Thus, there is no use of extending the clonable and serializable interfaces. What do you understand by iterator in the Java collection framework? Iterator in Java is an interface of the collection framework present in Java, util package. It is a cursor in Java which is used to iterate a collection of objects. Below are a few other major functionalities provided by the iterator interface. What is the use of the list interface? The list interface in Java is an ordered collection of elements. It maintains the insertion order and allows duplicate values to be stored within. This interface contains various methods which enables smooth manipulation of elements based on the element index. Is down the primary interfaces provided by Java Collections Framework. Below are the major interfaces provided by the Collection Framework, Collection Interface, Java, UTL. Collection is the root of the Java Collection Framework and most of the collections in Java are inherited from this interface. What do you understand by Collection Framework in Java? The Collection Framework includes the following Interfaces, Classes, Algorithm, List and the major advantages of the generic collection. Below are the main advantages of using the generic collection in Java, provides stronger type checks at the time of compilation eliminates the need for typecasting. How the collection objects are sorted in Java. Sorting in Java collections is implemented via comparable and comparator interfaces. When collections sort method is used the elements get sorted based on the natural order that is. What is the use of the list interface? The list interface in Java is an ordered collection of elements. It maintains the insertion order and allows duplicate values to be stored within. What is a vector in Java? Vectors are similar to arrays, where the elements of the vector object can be accessed via an index into the vector. Vector implements a dynamic array. Also, the vector is not limited to a specific size, it can shrink or grow automatically whenever required. How can you use comparable and comparator interfaces to sort collections? The comparable interface is an interface for objects that can be compared according to some order. Its single method is compare to, which operates on two values, the object itself and the argument object of the same type. For instance, integer, long, and other numeric types implement this interface. String also implements this interface, and its compare to method compares strings in lexicographical order. How can you use comparable and comparator interfaces to sort collections? The comparable interface is an interface for objects that can be compared according to some order. 
its single method is comparta, which operates on two values, the object itself and the argument object of the same type. For instance, integer, long, and other numeric types implement this interface. String also implements this interface, and its compare to method compares strings in lexicographical order. What is the difference between hash set and tree set? Both hash set and tree set classes implement the set interface and represent sets of distinct elements. Additionally, TreeSet implements the navigable set interface. This interface defines methods that take advantage of the ordering of elements. Describe the collection's type hierarchy. What are the main interfaces, and what are the differences between them? The iterable interface represents any collection that can be iterated using the for each loop. The collection interface inherits from iterable and adds generic methods for checking if an element is in a collection, adding and removing elements from the collection, determining its size etc. The list, set, and queue interfaces inherit from the collection interface. What are examples of collections? An example of a collection is someone gathering together 500 baseball cards. A set of items or amount of material procured or gathered together. The attic contains a remarkable collection of antiques, oddities, and random junk. The asteroid belt consists of a collection of dust, rubble, and minor planets. What is collections in Java interview questions? Collections in Java are capable of doing any data operations such as searching, sorting, insertion, manipulation, and deletion. A single unit of objects in Java is referred to as a collection. The two basic root interfaces of Java collection classes are the collection interface Java. Why do we need collections? A collection, sometimes called a container, is simply an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. Collections are used to store, retrieve, manipulate, and communicate aggregate data. Is hash map part of collection? Class 1, hash map hash map is a part of Java's collection since Java 1.2. It provides the basic implementation of the map interface of Java. It stores the data in key, value pairs. What is difference between collection and array? Arrays are fixed in size that is once we create an array we cannot increase or decrease based on our requirement. Collection are growable in nature that is based on our requirement. Dot dot dot. Arrays can hold only homogeneous data types elements. Collection can hold both homogeneous and an heterogeneous elements. My collection is a framework. Collection framework are much higher level compared to arrays and provides important interfaces and classes that by using them we can manage groups of objects with a much sophisticated way with many methods already given by the specific collection is Java an array collection. In order to store multiple values or objects of the same type, Java provides two types of data structures namely array and collection. Arrays can hold the only the same type of data in its collection i.e. only homogeneous data types elements are allowed in case of arrays. What is Collection API? The Collection API is a set of classes and interfaces that support operation on collections of objects. 
These classes and interfaces are more flexible, more powerful, and more regular than the vectors, arrays, and hash tables if effectively replaces what is array list in Java. An array list class is a resizable array, which is present in the Java util package. While built-in arrays have a fixed size, array lists can change their size dynamically. Elements can be added and removed from an array list whenever there is a need, helping the user with map.